Uh, in this lesson, we're going to see how to initialize these uh, pointers, declare them, access them. Uh, very simple operations on pointers. Okay. Now we're going to declare an integer and i equal to zero. And we're going to declare a pointer star ptr underscore i, which is uh, we'll assign it to the address of this integer. Uh, then we're going to print both the integer as well as the pointer <coughs> okay here we have printed uh, the value of i and the value of the pointer let's execute this program okay uh, now the value of i is zero whereas the pointer of i is the address where i is stored okay now uh, let us see how we can access i through the pointer okay uh, it will be very simple so it is again uh, the variable i okay and we're going to introduce a new uh, new operator called as the indirection operator see the star is an indirection operator okay and if you use it on the ptr underscore i the pointer you will get the value stored at the address stored by this pointer okay can let's just execute the program and you'll understand what i'm just saying see the variable i is zero okay when you just print i okay and then when you print the pointer the address but when you use the indirection operator variable is again pointing to the same value okay uh, or i can just uh, so it's like okay for better uh, clarity i just wrote ptr star of ptr and score i right now uh, just execute and let's see it works okay so now let's say that i change the value of i to 10 okay now uh, you see that i changes and so is ptr underscore i right so uh, what the indirection operator does is it points to the variable so if the variable changes the <coughs> the value of star of ptr underscore i also changes now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see the size you know what will be the size of the pointer and the size of the integer okay now i'm printing the size of i okay as well as the size of the pointer okay So now you see the size of i is 4 and the size of the pointer is 4, okay? So uh, the size of i is equal to the 4 bytes because we are running this program on a 32-bit machine, okay? And uh, the size of pointer is equal to always the size of integer, 32 bits, okay? If you run it on a 64-bit, the point size of pointer will be 64 bits. Now I've, done, now I've done a very small change. I've changed the data type of i uh, to character and the data type of ptr underscore i to char. Okay. Now uh, let me execute and show you a subtle difference what happens. Now uh, the size of i is the size of a character that is 1 but the size of pointer always remains 4 in this case. To correct to drive down my point further, now I change that array type of i to double and the, uh, the pointer also a double pointer. Now let me execute it, you will understand it much better. Okay. Now the size of i, now as you see the size of i is 8 bytes. Even though this now the size of i has gone up to 8 bytes, the, point, the size of the pointer remains the same. So, uh, the size of the pointer is always the size of integer, right? So, 